Hi guys and welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. If you've been following my videos, in the last uh, one which was about the Asus Transformer Prime, I was telling you that I'm going to now um, move away from the general consumer videos uh, as my Nexus 7 has kind of taken over in that regard and uh, the Asus Transformer Prime is going to go into more exploratory uh, areas such as uh, routing and unlocking uh, the device to put on custom launchers, ROMs and uh, so on to try and get a bit more life out of the Asus Transformer Prime but the first thing I'm going to do before any of that is I'm actually going to just do a clean wipe of the system, a, a factory reset as it is, to try and see if I can iron out the uh, problems and bugs I've had with the device. I've never done this. Um, I, as far as I know, it's a fairly safe, safe way, just a, like a clean reset. will wipe all my data and all my apps, but it will keep on uh, the original Asus settings. So it's just kind of like putting a, a pin in that little button uh, in the watch or the calculator or the... Um, or whatever else to do a reset and uh, start again from fresh and see if the Asus Transformer Prime performance does improve in that regard and if and when it doesn't then we'll move on to unlocking and so on. So the first thing I'm going to do before anything of course is make sure that I am backed up. Uh, so what I will be doing is using a micro SD card because for some reason when you back up using the SD card it always fails to back up onto the card. So I'm going to save it on to the SD card. And I just slot it in here. And we're going to use the app that comes with the uh, Asus Transformer Prime, which is called App Backup, to actually back up all my apps. And as you can see, I've already done quite a few in the past, uh, but I'm going to do a brand new one. Uh, just in case, because I did finish playing Bubble Shoot uh, a couple of weeks, ago, well, about a week ago, uh, and there's 300 levels of that, so I uh, obviously need to store that more than anything else. That's the, the imperative thing to do. So if we go to backup list, do select all, um, which it has done, and then if I deselect all, because I want to select data and application, select all. As you can see, one of the problems with the app is that it always goes over uh, the limit, which is 600 meg. I don't know why it will only star 600 meg but that's one of the problems there and um, we'll now sort by size because I'll have to remove something I think I will remove distro because I don't need to back that one up and flipboard which is something I never use either so I'm going to back it up now which will take about 20 minutes uh, so I will back it up and then uh, I will see you in 20 minutes and we shall uh, carry on looking at how to do a reset of the transformer. So see you again soon. So about 20 minutes later, welcome back, and as you can see the backup process has been completed. Unfortunately, it didn't store all of them, three, uh, all of my apps and data. Three of them failed, and I'll just check to see which ones they are. Um, for some reason, whenever I do a backup, the odd application fails for no discernible reason, but I'm not too concerned about any of those ones that haven't been backed up. So let's go ahead and uh, reset my Asus Transformer Prime. So the next thing we have to do is go to Settings, go down to About Tablets. First of all, I'm going to check if there are any firmware updates, just to make sure that there may not be a last-minute upgrade that could potentially fix the Asus Transformer Prime, which there isn't. So with that being set, said let's go straight for the reset we will go to backup and we will do a factory data reset which erases all data on tablet so I will press it this will erase all the details of my internal storage um, and it's just saying that I'm currently logged into a number of accounts and so we'll uh, reset the tablet and see what happens so I've never done this before uh, let's see how this experience goes for me. Obviously, I'm not going to um, play the video as it's probably redoing all its stuff. I'll just uh, come back onto the video if anything goes wrong. So, fingers crossed, and we'll see if the Asus Transformer Prime improves from this point. Yes, let's erase everything. So, five minutes later, I am back literally where I started six months ago where I when I first bought the Asus Transformer Prime with the first uh, setup of the tablet uh, so 
this will involve just a little bit of tinkering around and with any luck we shall very soon be back in business it's detected uh, my networks and at the moment it's showing a full bar which is promising considering that it never showed a full bar when um, I was using a tablet previously so uh, I'm just going to put in my password which obviously you can't see so we are now connected to the internet and it's confirming the time which I will do which is fine now I just need to sign into my Google account so again bear with me while I do that and we are now signed into my Google account just apologies by the way for camera is having a bit of trouble focusing in and out. It tends to do this uh, in slightly dark settings and it can't pick up the small text and I just have to zoom it out a little bit and zoom it back in. But it looks as if at the moment the tablet is trying and attempting some sort of re restore of um, the tablet once I wiped it. I have been told by some people that what you should do when you do a factory wipe and restore is to not even log into your account to begin with just wipe the tablet and then get back in um, so far though I think everything is going okay and now say so my device is ready to use so let's uh, use it so there we are presented with the first screen and uh, now showing me familiar uh, things that interestingly straight off the bat is that it's kept my um, background uh, which is odd and it has I think it was actually a stock picture from the uh, Transformer Prime but it's uh, kept it it's saying that my weather is not available let's try going on to the um, internet and seeing if it is fast of course it's saying that Adobe Flash isn't installed or anything so I will have to probably install that and this could be a lengthy uh, process to be quite honest let's just install Flash and then hopefully once Flash is installed we can just have a quick play on the internet and see if anything right off the bat has improved okay Flash has been installed now so let's uh, quickly uh, go to the BBC website like I usually do see how quickly that loads up already taking its time loading up the mobile version let's load up the um, full website by requesting the desktop version see how quick that is not too bad on that one we'll go to the sports well, as you can see that was very slow to react I don't think it uh, yes it did register my press but how slow is that and it's still loading up a page I think it's probably getting caught up by the um, tablet booting up for the first time and finding that it's got lots of updates for apps to do so I'll let it off on that one and just try another page and see how quickly that one goes a little bit faster but it's still loading up the page and as you can see I can't scroll yet and that it took about eight seconds before I could scroll so a quick boot up there but it has demonstrated that a factory wipe does work now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put back up any of my applications yet from the SD card because I'm going to do a comparison video now between the Asus Transformer Prime and the Nexus 7 uh, when we have two app, um, tablets that are relatively new and haven't been um, clogged up with lots of applications and fancy things uh, so I'm going to get that a comparison video out of the way and then I'll carry on exploring uh, how I can make the Asus Transformer Prime a uh, better device. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you found that useful and it was a bit of a relief that the uh, Transformer Prime didn't completely break on me there, it is still working. Uh, so we'll carry on with the uh, new adventure. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon in another video.